Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4, Fly Me By The Moon in Kerbal Space Program Point Two Two. Today we're going to take a look at a craft that I originally wanted to land on the moon and when we got there we were, well, a little short on fuel. I'll go ahead and show you the whole video including the first launch which did not go so well. Um, had a little bit of a balance issue so it was kind of hard to get it to exit the atmosphere of Kerbin without wasting a large amount of fuel. So we went back and changed it a little bit, which you'll hear here very shortly. But in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to try and collect as much science as possible. Pick up some more items in the tech tree or research tree that allow us to build some better crafts that may get us to the moon, land, and back. And also increase our stability on takeoff. Now we do have three or well, four different types of science that you can collect right now. You have the goo canister, you have the exposed material canister up there in the middle, right behind the main capsule, and you have the ability to do, of course, crew reports and EVA reports. And that's going to be what we're going to do. We're just going to do non-stop science with those extra batteries that we picked up in our last item on the research tree. Um, as you saw, that flight didn't go so well off the bat, so we exited out and we dropped off one canister on the side to increase stability. We do need struts, and we still don't have those yet. So as soon as we get those, we'll be able to build rockets that are a little more complex and have more pieces that can be uh, strengthened so that we don't have issues taking off out of the atmosphere. But I'm right now going through the atmosphere, and I'm trying to get all the science possible from the experience we ha currently have available at each level off of Kerbin itself. Now we're going to deplete most of the science that you can get with all the current experiments. Doesn't mean we won't be able to get more by uh, leaving Kerbin itself in the future with new experiments, but it does mean that we won't have to run these anymore because we're using up everything that's available. We're going to do a standard Kerbin orbit, get up and uh, circularize it. And then we'll be able to take and do our burn for the moon, or moon, in this game. So let's get ready for that. Get lined up. And we should be going here any second. There we go. Now we'll just do a standard burn, get ourselves going. Nothing too fancy. And we've kind of stopped doing a little bit of science right now because there's not much we need to do at the moment. We're going to try and get to the moon since we already used up almost uh, a little more than three, or not three, but we have a little more than th three quarters of our power left. But we'll save that power for the moon, um, mainly so that we can get the higher values that are available around the moon itself. And now that we did our circleized orbit, let's do our burn for the moon. And as you notice, we're in our last stage. We don't have any more stages available. And this is where I decided that we should really do a flyby versus a landing because we really needed that fuel to get onto the moon and then get off the moon and come back to Kerbin and, and be sure that we can make it without any issues. So as you can see, I did a circularized or, or uh, orbit that kind of brings us right by the moon, close, and then will bring us all the way back to uh, Kerbin. So we're not going to circularize it around the moon at all. We're just going to fly by it real quick, nice and low, and then we're going to come right back. And since we're close to the moon, we'll go ahead and start taking some science. And there was one little bug there where I got out of the capsule guy EVA report. As soon as I did, um, it's almost like I got stuck in space and the capsule kept on going while I was getting the report. And uh, he got a little bit away from me there, but I was able to get back in. So that is a small bug, but overall not that bad. Just use some RCS thrusters. And here we are, we're going to burn through our power and it is gone. That's it. The power is missing. Um, even with all those batteries, it didn't take long to drain it. So we'll go ahead and keep all the reports we can at this point. And that's another thing, I mean, no power, no more reports to send back. We'll just have to go back with what we have. We'll go ahead and hit up our orbit here. A little bit of a graphical glitch on the poles. It hadn't loaded the uh, the full map yet, it looks like. 
which it will here shortly. But uh, let's not waste that landing gear. Let's see if we can put it to use by trying to land on the coast here. And we're not looking too bad. Very close. We're definitely going to get into atmosphere. Of course, once they add the physics in the game for re-entry, you won't be able to re-enter like this with all the equipment uh, still on an engine and gear and batteries and all that. You'll need to detach the main capsule to come through the atmosphere. And there's also a mod for that. Uh, available on the Kerbal Space Port. Let's go ahead and get closer to the land over here and see if we can set this thing straight up. A little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking. And as we get closer, we're going to notice here it's uh, a little too close to the coast and it's a little slanted, so we'll try and lay the ship on its side. A little bit of wobbling, and we're down. Not much damage there. Let's recover that craft. And we got quite a bit of science now. We're going to be able to research qu quite a few trees. And that's that tree right there with solar panels that we need to get that has the lightning bolt on it. So we're going to go ahead and research the second tree that's needed to combine with it. And then we'll be able to research the actual tree for the solar panel. So that's what we'll be using next time so we can land on the moon is the solar panel so we have continuous power. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky and also post your suggestions below. Hit like if you like the video and let us know what you think.